Okay, so what this formula is saying is if I have two points on a line and I don't want to count rise over run, I can just calculate it by subtracting the two. And this is saying you would put the second x and y and the first x and y in these places. So for instance, if I gave you guys the points of 0, 1 and 4, negative 2. This one would go into these places because it's our second set, and these two would go into these places because it's our first set. That's all that these little subnumbers are saying, but the reality is it doesn't matter. If I wrote this one down first, it would have gone here instead. You can just put them where, in any place in there. You just have to make sure that this pair is above each other and this pair is above each other and that you're keeping track of the negatives. I personally like this one to go first because it has a negative 2. So we would rewrite this as, here's our x and here's our y, so negative 2 would go over the 4 because the y's go on top and the x's go on the bottom because of our rise over run. And then we subtract, here's my x and here's my y. And we're going to set this up the other way just to prove that it doesn't matter what order you really put them in. You just have to make sure that the x and y that go together as the point are above and below each other in your equation. What is negative 2 minus 1? Negative 3. And what is 4 minus 0? So this slope would be negative 3 over 4. Let's set it up the opposite way to prove it doesn't matter what order you put them in, <clears throat> which is why I think that this can be confusing because people start to like make sure they put things in the right place. As long as your xy pair is with its, each other in the numerator and denominator, we're good, okay? So instead of setting this up with this one first, we're gonna set it up with this one first. <clears throat> the one goes on top and the zero goes on the bottom because this is the y and this is the x and then the equation has negatives here's my x my y is a negative 2 what's going to happen here everybody say it louder because the negative from here and the negative from here are going to become positive <clears throat> and this time I'm getting 1 plus 2 is 3 over what kind of 4 and as long as that slope has one negative, it's going to be negative. So this one got the negative from the x's, and this one got it from the y, but it's still a negative slope of 3 over 4, yes? So it doesn't matter what order we put them in. And I'm going to have you guys stop, and we're going to do some practice right here before we look at the rest of the chapter. In your book, I'd like you to go to page 61. And you're going to do these numbers here, 28 to 33. Actually, no, let's just do 28 to 31. Do those four practice, practice problems. Don't set them up two ways, just set them up one way, but you're going to be checking with your neighbors and seeing if you're getting the same slope. Okay? Let's practice that for a few minutes before we continue our walk through Chapter 2.